I think I hear them behind me, so... Maybe this side is okay now? Oh! Mm. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Phantomling Rose. Today I'm going to be carrying on with Black Plague. I got up to a point where we just had like a fever dream sequence and uh, we can hear a voice in our head. So I'm just going to jump straight back into the game. This is, like I said in the previous video, uh, one of my favorite games. This was like my first horror game. So I'm kind of like revisiting it. So we're in this murky bathroom. I think I can do without going back into the sewers. Yeah, I agree. Actually, I think that's probably wise. Here we go. So yeah, don't forget to uh, like, comment and subscribe, of course, if you're enjoying this series. And obviously you're free to thumbs it down if you are not. And you can comment something if you want, like the state of this bathroom. There's a foul smell coming from it. Yeah, I mean, it's not great. All right, let's, let's creep out. This mattress smells just marginally better than the rest. <laughs> okay, good. Somebody's living here, maybe. Ah, save station. Every time it's harder to pull out, every time I feel more of myself inside. I stopped the previous video right inside this bathroom, because uh, I felt like it was a good place to end, without knowing that there was a save station right here. Although the fuse box is rusty and worn, it seems to be working. Oh. Oh, so I can choose... I can choose what thing to power up. So I can power up the light. Oh, that's nicer. Traditional art. <laughs> Traditional art's the only kind I really know how to appreciate. You're in a video game, bro! <laughs> a chart of some kind. I agree. And is there anything here? Why can I move this chair? I just can. So I put the chair at the PC. <laughs> it's already got one. Oh, it spins! I mean, not very far, because it's blocked by the door. Is there anything out of the bed? No. This TV is in poor condition. Apart from some dust-covered books, the shelf is empty. My mouth's a bit dry. Keeps getting caught on my braces. Dust covered books was hard to say. Also, they've put a. Um, wh what does this one do? The bathroom? Oh, yeah. They've put uh, like a retainer thing at the inside back of my front teeth uh, on the lower jaw. And like every time my tongue pokes it, it hurts. <laughs> Incoming video chat. Oh, it really is Zoom. Wow, you look like you've crawled through a sewer to get here. I suppose I'm. Oh, I did. Hi. I'm Amabel, Amabel Swanson, and I suppose I'll be your guide for the day. Hello? Can you hear me? I think the transmission's only one way. I've got a webcam. Pull a silly face if you can hear me. Oh, very attractive. <laughs> okay, we're on. There's some things you need to know. Sure. Whatever you say, lady. We released a virus. It wiped us out. That's Three not a good idea. <laughs> through the mines, but it didn't work the way we'd planned. 2020 can attest to it. Workers made it, but others were taken. Some panicked and got lost. I ran, and when I stopped, I was on my own. Oh, and another symptom is deja vu. The only chance we have is a man called Howard. He said he'd found a solution to the virus. His vitals last registered in the library, but only members of the organization have access. I'm still seeing a few life signs in the residential quarter. You need to find a survivor and get through into the library. Oh, and look out for our medical guy, Richard Eminis. He was acting strangely when I last saw him. Hmm, what else don't you know? Let's see. Watch out for signs of infection. Presence then accounted for. Did did you say something? Look, the symptoms we know about are paranoia and oral distortion. Oh, and another symptom is deja vu. Enough already. My sides are splitting. 
Well, I think that's everything you need to know. I'm sending over some research on the virus, and I'll get some doors open for you. Maybe now we can shoot the ship. Wow. Um. It, the the another symptom is deja vu. Like that's so clever. I love that. Time to get virus field, field notes. Infection process. The worst thing about my job. Death helps us learn. Uh, time frame, five weeks, location held up in the old mess hall. Research subjects, three archaic personnel who contracted the virus. With every infection in the process, the life cycle of this virus becomes clearer. In addition to the already documented symptoms, there seems to be some final stage during which the organism fully takes hold. Just before becoming fully catatonic, the infected reports strange out-of-body experiences. They've likened these to being chased through a series of their own memories. Interesting. Some kind of mental obstacle course. These reports inevitably end in the patient being swallowed by some inescapable dark force shortly after which we lose them for good. If these experiences are as they seem to be some form of mental re representation of the infection process, we can only theorize as to what might occur with the patient to escape. Additional note, uh, Eminus confided in me that he has had just such an experience. That's worded awkwardly. So many single syllables. He insists that he feels better than he has in months. I'll keep an eye on him. Mm. Also, he escaped the... Because we did, right? Like, we had this chase through your memories thing, and then we escaped. So we have to go find something in the library. Howard in the library. In fact, did I skipped a beat. Not his heart skipped a beat, just he skipped a beat. When I heard that word in association with me, still it seemed like just one more reason to find my father. Hearing a friendly voice hadn't hurt either, but by that point I was pretty certain she'd turn out to be crazy. Oh yeah, I also realized... If we must continue to share this brain space, I think I should have a name. Strange. So rare an opportunity to select one's own nomenclature, and yet I find myself at a loss. Any ideas, monkey? I want to stand up. You let me stand up. So much storage in this mind of yours. Did you realize you got an entire section in here devoted to film titles? Three thousand one hundred and three and a half films you've seen. You only got the first half of it's a wonderful life in here. Oh, how did it end? Now I'll never know. You know, honey, Clarence, that's not a bad handle. I am something of a guardian angel. Are we good? Are we done? Let me let me stand up. There we go. Uh, I love Clarence, and I actually never knew that his name was from It's a Wonderful Life. I just because I've never seen that film, so um, I didn't piece those two things together. But I uh, looked it up recent. Was that just where I came from? Yeah, it is. Um, but yeah, I had to look up something to do with its wonderful life, and I saw that the main character, uh, the guardian angel, is called Clarence, and I was like, oh, so that's why. So yeah, we have a passenger now. We've got an Iggy Pop. Storage, infirmary, computer central. Uh. The door won't open, however, it seems to be connected to the scanner device. Maybe it's a lock. This one? Palm print and retinal scanner. Okay, so we need a hand and an eye. Should be easy enough to obtain. We did take some bloke's blood earlier. Ah, armory door is open a little bit. That seems promising. Oh, a map. Uh... Is there a you are here? I guess this is where we are. This is the armory. I don't know where we need to go to. Uh, we can't go in the library right now. Can have a look in here. Empty storage boxes. Flare. Oh yes, I was gonna say, um, I realised that my camera was blocking some of the subtitles, so I've put it up here. 
instead of in the bottom right hand corner where it was before because in the menu screen it was blocking the title so that's why I put it there in the first place and I forgot to move it. It's a mattress. Nice. So I mean the armor it just it has ammunition but no weapons so I guess that's and a saw. Not recently, but I have had one previously. Okay, just shut me in. No. No one here. Can I leave? It sounds like they're right outside. Are you gonna go away? What's the situation? Is Philip scared of the dark? Is that why I get weird wobblies whenever I crouch in a dark corner? I think I hear them behind me, so maybe this side is okay now. Oh! No, it's not okay. I'm no one, don't worry about it. Oh, sure, why not? Oh no, bad, bad, bad area, not good. Don't like it. Machine room. Well, that didn't tickle. Hello? There's horribles walking around. Please don't jump out of me. Uh, where am I now? I saw... Oh, for goodness sake. Oh, go away! No, I'm busy. I don't have time for you right now. Let's just leg it. Let's leg it this way. Why not? Is he still following me? Try the infirmary. Canteen. Oh, we were there before, right? Can I go back through? No. That light's really annoying. Also, this wall peeking thing doesn't really work because, like, if you peek and they're there, they'll just see you. Oh, wait, I have no idea where I am, but it's a heavy security door labeled ID 3061. There's no visible lock. Uh, what does that say? Infirmary. Okay, so I'm outside the infirmary now. Um, here. And we know the library is locked. Storage? Maybe storage. So I need to go right as far as I can go, then left, then right. hope there's no beasties on the way. Oh, neat. A shortcut, presumably. Back to the library, I think. Yeah. Machine room infirmary. Well, I want to go to storage. Okay, there's a fella around that corner, maybe? Why am I getting danger music? I don't see anything. Yeah, there must be, because otherwise it wouldn't be making this kind of noise. Okay, let's try and go this way. 
let's loop him. I mean, this does sort of mean we're just going to end up like coming up behind him, which might not. Off you go. Yeah. Oh dear. You know what? Screw it. <laughs> Get out of my way! Nope. Run! Okay, good. <laughs> At least this door's open. <laughs> I hope they can't follow you through, like, portals. No, we're fine. The beams will trigger the explosives for sure. Yeah. Uh, makes sense. Uh... Like I said, it's been a while since I played this, so I can't remember exactly how the AI works. But I vaguely remember some stuff. El Tower. To climb. Not much of interest on this shelf. Well, I disagree. I mean, we could rip open these boxes and see what's in them, but... Uh, you're not having it. Hup. Hup. Seems like the man on the other side is window of holding a... Is holding a gas mask of some sort that may help get me past that gas leak. I guess so. Uh, is this high enough for me to jump? Oh, I hope. No, oh, shit. <laughs> oh, don't send me too far back. Oh, thank you. Thank you for number. Lesson. It really wasn't. Um... Maybe I need three. Oh, planks. Maybe planks would be a good idea? I'm not sure what I would do with them. I'm gonna build steps again. Yeah. Amazing. <laughs> there we go. This time. <laughs> The visual cortex of this monkey is certainly of a simplistic design. If I can just... <clears throat> there, you see? It's like oh. molding clay. It's very nice, Clarence. Thank you. Thank you. While you're showing off your logical problem solving, let me put it more simply. You see what I want you to see. Okay. Well, it won't work if you move around, will it? You can't look up the magician's sleeve! <clears throat> right. Label reads, hazardous materials. Take necessary precautions before opening. And this is something about Alaska. What are these? Rations and supplies. Rations and supplies. One single flare. So many rations and supplies. Oh, that's the the box that Clarence changed, so I can't I can't affect it. <laughs> Can I get up here? Is there anything up here? Oh! It's another one of those funny little collector things. Uh, ow! What'd you do that for, you ninny? Yeet. Yeet. Can I just... Yeah, okay, I was gonna try and like make a tower and climb up, but I didn't really need to- Wow, this looks great. <laughs> looks heavy and welded shut. If I walk on that pressure plate, is that going to kill me? I think the answer is yes. Actually, I, I might get these instead, because uh, I can like prop it up. Um, well, I, I could if the barrel would- Right, fine, I guess we're making a tower. Huh. These fucking companion cubes under this. What are we doing here? Is this not what you're supposed to do? It's, it's too small. Well, that doesn't seem heavy at all. It's just moving around when I gently nudge it.
No, fuck that. I'm not doing another one of those stupid puzzles. Uh, can you move so I can scooch that underneath? No? Okay, but the barrel's upside down. I can't... Uh, no. Okay. Try channel when I- No! Yay. Channel when I want to put a basket on someone's head in Skyrim. There we go. And you... What is this? It's not quite a barrel. It's like a plastic container with like dis- Oops, I need to throw it. Dispensers on it or something? Oh, I can rotate it. Okay, cool. Can you do that in Skyrim too? That would like save me so much pain. Uh. Uh. What? Uh. Uh. That <laughs> That's not what I meant to do. Please say that I can get over this. Okay, good. I was just trying to make it so that there would be like a prop of um like when it came down there'd be enough space it would like hit the two barrels and I could scooch in between I wasn't expecting it to just what is the point of this what does this even do why is there a fucking platform that if you stand on it drops a huge heavy weight on you in a storage area like what's the point anyway save just in case someone comes in and takes more biscuits than they're supposed to Oh dear. Right, let's have this. Dr. Richard Eminis, Theoretic Effects of Controlled Infection, report requested by Frisk on behalf of the Elevated. For the record, I see no value in recording this information at such an early stage. However, were we to assume that the virus could somehow infect a host without fully taking control of its upper brain functions, we might observe the following. Fact. Translate Illa Fresk, his dad, in his ignored efforts to prevent the release of the virus, correctly predicted the virus was capable of manipulating the host's motor neuron functions. Yes, we have just witnessed that as convenient that there's a bit of paper that uh, provides that as exposition now that we have um, some experience to support that. Where an instance of the infection controlled and sustained, we may find that the virus seeks to keep its host alive in whatever way possible. Suicide would be against the rules. Oh, I see. Okay. <laughs> I thought it was like they were trying to uh, like a weird game or something that the virus was playing. And that B, the virus gains control over some or all sensory faculties facilitating just such an objective. When the virus infects a host of any species, it adapts the organism's brain functions as best it can to suit its own purposes. Where the virus, uh, were the virus to fully take hold, sorry, were the virus unable to fully take hold, it may develop some partitioning of the host consciousness, effectively perverting a small corner of the host minds into a formal secondary personality. The Turngat virus was released from uh, too many centuries old for some mental, segmenta mental segmentation to occur, plausible would suggest each personality. The virus and the host may have access to one another's memories, given the age of the virus it may be substantial collection. It should be carefully noted that the bulk of the above remains conjecture and should not be relied upon in any archaic... I'm, whatever I'm that last word was. You. I'm part of something larger. We are nothing. We are a mistake. We're nothing. to rejoin them. Release me. Let me out. Ow. Right. I should be with them. I am them. There should be no I. <laughs> this Clarence was panicking. This is not the first time. Another was infected. Red. He so wanted to, but we would not let him die. Did he call us a disease? I mean, maybe. Um. Yeah, because Clarence was panicking just then and swinging my head all around. I jumped off the... Well, I jumped, not like off anything. I just... Oh, a thing. A power switch. Ah, <gasps> nice. Uh, yeah, I just jumped off the... Uh, I jumped on this and jumped off it accidentally because he like swung my view thing around and... Oh dear. Let's just save. I don't know if I already did. I can't remember. I may never get used to that. Fascia issues. 
How tall do we need to be to get up here? How tall to ride? Is that tall enough? Not quite. I need more tall points. More cool tall points. Let me stand on this flimsy empty cardboard box. Yeah. Z I'm assuming that opened the door that's over there. Oh, no, it just turned off the... I mean, I was going to jump over those. I could have managed. Why are there all these explosives? I don't understand. It's Also, why is it green for off? <laughs> Let me just... Mask with airflow filters for use in toxic environments. Oh, that sounds like a... Uh, something to grab very quickly when we go in here and we grab it and we leave. Ow. Do I have any damage? No. Okay, we're gonna make... Oh, I forgot I have uh, three years pills. Okay, let's have a look in here. Power switch. What? Why well, have we got danger music? I'm fine. I have a disgusting gas mask on my face. Did that do anything? Yeah, it turned off whatever neurotoxins this room is being pumped with. What's up with you? His face melted. Yeah. Not ideal. Ah, oh, some pills. I bet these are in great condition. Definitely okay to take. None of the medication in this facility has been tampered with in any way. Is there someone coming? Is that why I have danger music? I can hear scuttling. Wait, you better get used to it, babe, because um, we're going to be doing that a lot. Clem. Fill it! Come here. Get this. Get this and get this too. I like I also want this. Gimme it. No! Oh, why are you not this tall to ride? Thank you. Bing. Oh. I mean, I that didn't scare me. I mean, I knew it was gonna happen, but like, it didn't scare me. Also, it's just a spider. <laughs> it's not a big deal. Um, but yeah, I mean, is is that a threat, Clarence? Is that a threat, sir? Uh, I have to get back out with all those goobers. What are we even doing? What did we get? We got a gas mask. Oh, so I can go to the machine room. What's in the machine room? I don't even know what's in there. I've got the saw, syringe, alcohol, I don't know. Hopefully there's no bads immediately outside here. This made me uncomfortable. Right, is there a map? Hello? I don't hear anything coming from behind the- <gasps> Lord! Oh lord! Oh there was something! <laughs> feast on him, brother. Free no, him. don't feast on anyone, that's really rude. Uh, where am I going? Yeah, this is right. Aha. Screw you. Screw you, buddy. Like, my, like ear pressed against it like what are you on about Phil I don't hear anything although it's quite good because like at this point you're beginning to doubt your own ability to you know you're, you're doubting your own reality so of course um, when you start hearing things or the game's telling you you're hearing things or not hearing things you're going to change whether or not you agree with it based on recent experience what's going on in here 
burning rubber. I hate that smell. A bolt. The lock looks somewhat crude. I have a saw. I won't be able to cut through the metal. Alright. Can I throw something at it? Eh. <laughs> says no. Says says you're having me on. The engine is out of order. It seems like it's pretty hot down there. Perhaps this place is some kind of geothermal system to produce power and heat. Ah, oh, I guess so. Like boring into the earth to use naturally generated heat or something. Uh, is there any ups? Is there a ladder? Can we get some ups? No, this is a ceiling. Darth Vader digging around in the bowels of the Death Star trying to figure out how to turn off the gas pumping system. Do I need something? Do I need like a crowbar or something? Or This is stuck, right? Yeah. Is there a crowbar? If I take this off, do I take damage? No. So I can actually see now. Um. Oh, maybe I can use a pry bar. Yeah. Yeah, innovation. Come on, Phil, put your back into it. Come on. Eh. Oh, maybe I'm pushing it the wrong way. How do physics work? Pull it, bro. Pull it. Yeah. I mean, if I was going to do it, I would... Whoa, what? Okay, let's just try and thingy the mouse. Come on. <laughs> Is this not right? Or is it just not registering it? Maybe I need to hit it with something? Go. Yeah. <laughs> cool. <laughs> just picked up a barrel and slammed it into the into the thing. Well, you know, whatever works. What are we doing here? Ah oh, yes. Save. Uh every time I get Near one of these, I let go just a little. Where's Clarence and all this? In your noggin. It's rearranging your your brain thoughts as we speak. Oh, when in doubt, move a shelf. No. Uh, can I use this PC? It's got a filthy keyboard. Well, use some condensed compressed air. Steam pressure statistics. Switch to manual? Oh, okay. Well, you know, that's probably just the one that- that's the one that we need, right? <laughs> Convenient. Oh dear. No more bat. Any more batteries for me? No, no. What's down at this end? Agent Strain have weakened the mounts. Oh. Okay. The visible signs of trauma, but he's dead, all right. Hmm. That's that's a bit of a yikes. Do we want to try and turn that valve, or do we want to try and go in that room with the dead? Let's see if I can turn the valve first. I'm a bit concerned about what it might do, in case I suddenly need my gas mask again. Is it this door? No. It won't budge. I can hear a whooshing. Is that new? It's been a while. Right, let's save again and then go look instead. Sure. 
Hey. What? Okay. I don't know what it does, but clearly that machine is an electric hazard waiting to happen. A lever. I hope it's properly insulated, not the cause of that poor scientist's fate. Let's find out. Nothing happened. I don't like these rumbles. Uh, give me your hand. What? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I need that. You'd be right. Uh oh, boss battle. Hello. Uh. Ow. Ow, my entire body. That hurts. Oh, I died? <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake. You dick. What am I supposed to do? Oh, I took pills by accident. Maybe I can just go here. Okay, but it's supplying the machine with power. Yeah, I see that. Okay, maybe now? Ow! <laughs> okay, maybe it'll work like wherever you're standing. Okay, maybe that's enough. No! Yeah, there we go. Oh, lovely. Just barf that out. <laughs> Cheers. It's not too late to just slam your head against the wall until you pass out, you know. It might be easier than carrying on. You know, well, you sort of got a point. Me going is that when I finally work out how to end all this, you're coming with me. Great. Thank, thank you, Clarence. I really appreciate that. Oh, that fucking worm. Oh, now what? Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm going to end this episode on that harrowing note. So thank you very much for watching. Uh, I hope you're enjoying part two. I guess next time we'll take this hand over to the uh, hand scanner thing and hopefully we'll find an eyeball as well. So we'll just like have a collection of human body parts in our bag. So until next time, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe if you like what you're watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.